know, it's an amazing year for Rod, the uh, 50th anniversary of the second Grand Slam. So he's been invited to all the Grand Slams and they're all honouring him in, in a way he deserves. So I'm, yeah, I'm just thrilled to come back to Melbourne and uh, actually a lot of times it's just to meet my old components. Well, Bill, how's the body? Probably a little better than yours, I don't know about that. Rod's aware he's a great tennis champion, obviously, but he's just full of humility. I just can't believe it. He's a player. <laughs> you OK? Yeah, I'm yeah. good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. How's life? Perfect. On the road? On the, on the road again. again. We all have egos, but he's just a normal bloke and he just loves mixing with people and that's why we love him and the Australian public loves him and that's the reaction he gets, you know, the standing ovations in Rod Laver Arena. It's just a, an amazing thing which he deserves so much. It's 50 years since I won all the four titles in the one year and so that, that is certainly doesn't get much bigger than that. He is the only man to have done this in the open era. He is the real thing. Would you please welcome out onto court, Rod Rocket Lamer. Getting a replica of the exact same trophy. It's been unbelievable. Okay. Rod Laver stands for something so classy about our sport, so understated and gracious and, of course, successful. Welcome to Roland Garros. Hi, thank you. How are you? <laughs> Perfect. It'll be fun to be here. His name conveys a tremendous amount of power and meaning, and that translates all across the world. Oh, hey, look at you. Good to see you. Yeah, how are you doing? Good, good. Yeah. How's your trip over? Yeah, no, it's, they're, they're always a long time. Yeah. Yeah. You feel all right? How's, yeah, you, how are you doing? Good, good. You're in good shape? Yeah. You, you better, still alive, you, still going? I, I want to shake your hand at the end of this tournament. All right, hopefully, hopefully I'm okay. still here. <laughs> when we go into some of the slams, it's, uh, it's a bit of a chaotic disaster sometimes. We, we go through the first hurdle of getting into the event, yeah, and then it's a mob of people asking him for autographs sport. and okay. pictures and taking selfies. Mm. <laughs> Oh, you, you. you did it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, uh, you're welcome. All right. Okay. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. You had a workout. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. When I grew up, Rod was my idol. <laughs> Everybody knew that. You have to be very, very fortunate. Yes. Yeah, you've got to play your best tennis, not have any injuries not a new sickness. So, you know, it's, it, it is. It's a, and you did yeah. that twice. But it, you know, it's just a, yeah. well, you know, I was just a happy sportsman. <laughs> it <laughs> was a, amateur. And a hell of a player too. <laughs> it's a special moment now. We'd love to honor one person who did so much for the history of tennis. Monsieur Rod Laver. You know, there's not many people who can pretend to have today one of the replicas of, of this trophy. Maybe Rafael Nadal and, and probably Rod. I mean, what, what they have achieved is just beyond comprehension. And you know, we have a very strong culture about Australian tennis in our country as well. Rod is such a, an iconic legend in Australian sport, not just in tennis, I think worldwide. He's, what he's been able to do for, for us as a nation has been incredible. And for, to have him there today at my match was unbelievable. And to, to shake his hand and give him a hug after the match was uh, something I never dreamt of. We're heading over to Wimbledon. That'll be the next one. So looking forward to all of them, but to Wimbledon is next. Roger. Hey, Rocket, what's happening? <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. How are well? you? Yeah, Already good. here? Yeah, 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 I'm here. Are you here for the two weeks? Uh, yeah, I am. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's truly remarkable when Roger and Nadal and, and Djokovic and the top, top players give him the time to sit down and have a conversation with him. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's it. That's a beauty. <laughs> talk about tennis, talk about past things, talk about things that are going on in, in his life and in their lives. 
they're just, uh, they're good friends now. With this guy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. No, I just don't listen to them. Rocket. Super lovely to see you, sir. Now you can relax. Are you kidding me? We just bow down to you and we move along. This is what we do. Yeah, Rod sets a cracking pace. He can. I've got to pull him back sometimes. You know, he's sort of. Hey, Rod, do you realise you've got to go to dinner tonight? That will last midnight. My greatest honour was to have the opportunity to play in a Wimbledon final against Ken Rosewell and Rod Laver. It was, it was unbelievable. You know, I think that's one of the greatest things I could ever experience. This is a second life for him, though, because it's so good that he's now getting back. This has been a joy for all of us, not only for Rod and for Susan, his friend now, but for all of us, because he's in a game that he loves and has been his life, and it's been all our lives. Obviously, the two Grand Slams are going to be hard to beat. It'll be exciting when people come close or possibly reach that. I'll, I'll look forward to the day when, when that can actually be done. And I, I'm sure my dad will too. That's right, that's the sort of guy he is. He's happy to share his records. He's delighted, he just loves the game. He loves the current players. Not too many times do you come to New York and have the weather this perfect. Mm. <laughs> And on the 50th anniversary of his Grand Slam, Mr. Rod Laver to present the trophy to Rafael Nadal, lefty to lefty. It's, it's been a huge honor to uh, bring 69 back. It's, a, it's a, just a great feeling that I'd accomplished something that had never been done before. And so I think of it as being the biggest thrill of my life, being able to have the, those four trophies in my home. The only man in tennis history to have won two calendar year Grand Slams. Please welcome Rod Laver.